Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am about six months past having this little guy and I wanted to film a video just about how I'm feeling and doing now that it's been almost six months. To share a little bit of background before I just dive into the video because there's some context to understand, I suppose. We um, had our daughter, Allie, in February of 2021, and she passed away at just about six weeks old of a uh, spontaneous brain bleed. So after that happened, um, obviously we still wanted to grow our family, and so Brooks came along, and I definitely had some similar challenges this pregnancy with Brooks as I did with Allie. Specifically, my iron levels were still fairly low, and so I did much more this time than I did last time. I wasn't, um, I wasn't monitored as much with my past um, birth with Allie. I had, I think, one blood draw um, to check my levels, and this time I had, I think, seven blood draws to check my um, my iron along with other things and I know I had mentioned on here that with this pregnancy I was very low at one point to the point where we were talking about doing infusions and I really was hoping not to do that and so I went to an acupuncturist that we've been seeing for a long time he's been probably seeing me since I was about four or five years old and he has this new machine that creates uh, custom homeopathics for you and so I got a tincture that was specifically um, designed for me um, and a lot of it obviously had to do with iron and blood building this kind of thing and so I went back to him two times before he was born and during that period I think I had like four blood draws and they continually went up and by the time it was actually time to give birth to him my iron levels were completely normal um, so that was great so now to talk about where I'm at now physically I feel super healthy I have continued to do what I was doing which was a prenatal vitamin vitamin D A K an algae oil uh, barley juice grass powder um, a hydrogen tablet which kind of just helps alkalize you that might have been it in terms of the supplements but I also was using the uh, full body red light um, device that we have to um, give myself extra UV light and help my body um, I had asked several different practitioners as well as my midwife if the red light would be okay and they all thought it was okay and um, just remained six inches away so because my belly was so big if I was facing forward I would make sure that my, my the furthest point forward was six inches away because I didn't want to uh, go too close they don't recommend going that close to the red light um, and I also, of course, was started wearing uh, my blue blocking glasses, which some of you may know. I have a website, Light Shaping Life, where I'm selling the um, blue blocking glasses, and then at, specifically at night, which made a huge difference in my ability to sleep, as well as I felt like my overall health. But I can't pinpoint one thing, because I was doing so many at the time. But um, the red light glasses at night, that blocked the green and blue light that help your body to start repairing, allows your body to start making melatonin um, to help repair your body. So those were some of the things that I was doing, some of the things I'm still trying to do. Um, I'm still taking all the supplements and I haven't been doing as much red light therapy with our device just because I have him a lot and 
it's in our room and the red light is pretty bright and I have a feeling it would wake him up at night. So I have to strategically plan when I can do that during the day. Other than that, I think physically, again, I feel pretty good, pretty healthy. Um, I have definitely gone back to my birth weight, if not lower, and I think it's specifically hard just because I can't seem to necessarily every day get a lot of calories because breastfeeding, I know, is, eats up about 500 calories and um, yeah, we just have a busy life and it's not that I'm not trying to do that, but as long as I feel like I get my supplements in, my greens in, then I can feel at least good that I know he's getting the nutrients he needs and um, obviously that's number one concern after what happened uh, with Allie, which I will be elaborating more on sometime in the future, but um, it's, a, it's a process to share and it's not necessarily easy, but it's uh, needed and so um, sometime I will continue to share more about that experience and process. I haven't had my labs checked since um, giving birth. If there's a reason to, I will, but I've continued to go back to this acupuncturist that we've had for a very long time and um, continued to get his homeopathic remedy as well as checking all the supplements I'm taking to make sure I'm taking the right amounts of um, what I've chosen to, to take. Some of you know that I'm vegan also, and so obviously that's part of the dynamic as well, and I was doing some a lot of food items to help with iron, um, this time like palm foo, which is like, kind of like a tofu but made of pump pumpkin seeds and water, and that's it. Um, obviously lots of red lentils, spinach, uh, kale, red pepper, these kinds of things are high in um, iron. One other thing that I noticed throughout my process of learning more about iron and researching, I learned that tannins, which are in black tea, I'm not sure if tannins are specific to caffeine or not, but I know that I was taking a chai tea and the black tea in it had tannins and that blocks your ability to absorb iron. And so last time, last pregnancy with Allie, um, I was consistently having this chai tea at least one or two cups a day and was often actually taking my supplements with this tea. And so that's partly why I think the supplements I was taking and the moves I was making in terms of bettering my iron really didn't work because I was um, drinking this tea that was preventing me from absorbing the, the iron. And then also some of you all know that I had lots of stretching <laughs> both with Allie, more with Brooks. Um, my belly has kind of returned. It's definitely still very stretched, but um, no, it's just part of me now. And um, they feel fine. The worst thing about them is that they burn as they're stretching. Um, I have very large ones. A lot of people have stretch marks that are very like fine and lots of them, but very like thin. And I got um, very like thick ones where my skin was stretching like this much in some places. And so that was, um, that was painful. Obviously I felt like itching my stem stomach all day and I use lots of different creams and oils and trust me, um, I would have thought that it was more lifestyle related and that from day one I was putting oil on my on my tummy and I had this um, specific stretch mark cream but uh, it it doesn't work um, it didn't work for me I think it's more of a genetic thing from my understanding and research now so um, it's healing up just fine and just a part of my body now that helped bring these two little beings 
here. Looking forward, I am hoping to get back into doing some exercises. I used to um, play a lot of sports, and so that's kind of where I got my exercise from. But um, now I'm no longer doing that, so I'm hoping to do some various exercises and increase my red light um, and just continue to take my supplements. And, of course, I didn't really speak about mental health or anything in that realm, but obviously we've had a journey, our family's had a journey, and I'm just trying to stay positive and uh, keep him as healthy as I can so that I can stay as healthy as, as I can be. If you have any more questions about my postpartum journey or how it went, how it's going, hi. Are you ready for a nap? Feel free to leave a comment um, below and I will certainly address it and I look forward to making more videos soon. I'm actually hoping to film a food snack video of just some items that have been so delicious, not necessarily total health foods, but some things that I've been enjoying lately um, and even leading up through pregnancy. So if you're interested in that, that should be coming out soon also. If not, beat this one out. We'll see um, how the editing goes. But all right, I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. And that might have been it in terms of like a supplement.